Hello everyone in this video, let us use a script owner to pass the result of a JQL. So this is a very simple piece of code that I will be using today to uh, demonstrate how to use a script owner to pass the result of a JQL. Now, when you're working with script owner, you may want to do something with those issues that are returned by a JQL. Now your JQL uh, could be anything. It could be based on issue type. It could be based on maybe all the issues that are not updated in the past week. Anything, anything of your choice. Now, the first thing that we need to learn is how to use a script now to go through each and every issue uh, returned by a JQL. So in this particular example, I will be using a search service and using search service, you need to basically first pass the query, uh, which is of course uh, that you can pass. So this is my query, which is nothing but right now a blank uh, query. There is nothing in it. And it is actually quite uh, valid because when you go to your Jira instance and if you go to, go to advanced, so without typing anything, if you just click on the search button, it will return all the it will return all the issues uh, in your uh, Jira instance. And so this is this is actually quite valid, and uh, uh, you can also do further things like issue type is equal to maybe bug. So this is also a valid uh, JQL uh, query. And uh, right now it says five issues. So I can maybe copy this, and I can. Uh, go back to my code and paste it here. So this time we'll just focus on focus on bugs. So once you have your filter, which is nothing but a string, uh, you need to first pass it. So this will uh, basically go through the query that you have written. And then once you pass your query, you need to simply perform the search. So I'm basically using the search service, which is uh, uh, what all what is all we need all we need to basically perform the search now the important part here is that when you perform the search you will get results and when you get results you can then further fetch all the issues in those uh, uh, in that particular result that you will get after performing the search now to to check all the issues uh, returned you can use something like a results uh, which is of course my uh, uh, it's, it's nothing but a variable, I can change it, but uh, based on if you're using Jira 7 or Jira 8, it could be either uh, dot results, which is nothing but the list of issues, or it could be uh, issues. So this is slightly different in uh, Jira 7 and Jira 8. Now if I go to my uh, console, and if I try to run this, let me click on the run button and uh, let me take a look at the result. So based on uh, the uh, query that we used earlier, so my query is uh, issue type is equal to bug, my script will return uh, hopefully five five issues. So it says one scrum hyphen 39, 36 and so on. So one, two, three, four, five. So this seems to be correct. Now, what we have uh, here is uh, of course the issue um, object but we can always uh, do further things with it so let me just uh, show you what uh, all we can do I, I can actually pass through the result uh, so i can do something like this issues dot each so i can maybe use a closure and uh, i can then do something like this maybe so maybe i want to just you know print the issues on my log um, block tab so i can do id it dot key um maybe i also want to print uh, uh what else can we print uh log dot debug total issues so i can print my issues dot size so it will uh, return the number of issues. Um, 
maybe 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 i want to play it into something else issues dot uh, i'm just checking if we have something interesting here so we, we just have here i mean right now the issues will have the results which is nothing but the issues but maybe i can take a look at the results itself and if i do get i'm just trying to see if i have something interesting that i can print anyway so let us just uh, you know display the total number of issues and the issue keys and uh, i was using the results here because my intellij is configured with uh, uh, jira 7 code but i can change it to issues and if i go back to my uh, to my script and if i run it and take a look at the log so it says total issues 5 and it will print the issue key i can maybe print something additional here let us see if we can print uh, um maybe i'll just comma separate it just to make it look slightly nice not here here so plus it it dot um I'll change it to results so I can use IntelliJ properly. So it dot uh, issue type. I think this is good. We have good information, and I can obviously change it to maybe something else. Let us let us do this for the whole uh, Jira instance. I don't really want to search for just bugs. So if I go back and run this. It will hopefully give me 39 issues and it will also give me um, the issue type. So it is slightly, I think it is printing the issue type object as it is. Let me just go to my instance and I will change it to results so I can use IntelliJ and auto complete. So I just need to worry about the name of the issue type issues. And if I run this again, it will give me the list of all the um, issues in my Jira instance. So right now we have 39. Uh, if I remove this and run this, we have 39 issues. Uh, maybe we can just do, maybe we can just ch check if the issue type is equal to story, maybe 20 issues and uh, I'll copy this. I'll paste it here. And uh, if I run this, it will hopefully give me only these stories. So this looks quite good to me. And of course it is a starting point. I mean, uh, it's a very simple way to, um, to perform the search using script, uh, script runner of course and uh, the good thing is that uh, when you are performing the search you get the issue object and then you can do a lot of things with those issue objects you can maybe modify the issues maybe you want to uh, uh, send the information or maybe you want to integrate jira uh, with another tool so i think passing the results using jql is quite powerful feature uh, not just within Jira, when you're working with Jira from the UI, you can also do this using the REST API. I have one video on my channel. If you go to Mastering Jira REST API uh, playlist, you will find uh, a way to also pass or rather uh, get the list of issues based on JQL. And of course, uh, in this video, I wanted to show you how we can also do this using a script enough for Jira. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.